Hello Nidorinos and Nidorinos, it is King Nido here and we are coming to you today from Moss Deep City where the Psychic Type Mystics are hosting the Water Type Pastoria Cascade. Now both these sides have two losses so far this season, both with one win and they are looking to get their second win of the season so far. Let us know in the comments below who you think will win. Will it be the Psychic Types? Will it be the Water Types? I cannot wait for this one. Let's go! As I said though, both these sides having lost two games so far, it will be Kluwitza and Iron Bundle starting out for the Pastoria Cascade. It will be Slowbro and Golduck starting out for the Mustard Mystics. And there are water Pokemon everywhere at the moment. But Golduck is about to shed that water typing because it is terrestrializing into the Psychic type Pokemon. It will be Psyduck. Wait, what? No. And Golduck now is a Psychic type Pokemon as Iron Bundle sets up for a solar blade it's going to absorb the light on this turn try and go for the solar blade on the next turn but first golduck is going to go for the power trip concentrating on iron bundle there it does very minimal damage however as claw witzer is going to go for the water spout hitting both of these psychic type pokemon and it is a one hit wonder golduck is eliminated with the critical hit already the terrestrial pokemon is out of this matchup Probably wishing now that he kept that water type in as Slowbro goes with the focus energy. It is getting pumped, and I do not know why, because its teammate just got eliminated. It must be expecting something huge. Perhaps a relative, because Slowking has come out to join it, and it is immediately going to be hit with the Solar Blade. It's not very effective. Gets a good hit, though, because it was a critical hit, but I'm sure Slowbro is grateful it did not take the damage of that, as the Ice Shard from Clawitzer connects with Slowking, and a parting shot from Slowbro on to Kluwitzer is going to lower Kluwitzer's attack stat and its special attack as Slowbro is going to go back to the bench, leaving Slowking to be joined by Gothitelle now. Slowking going with the victory dance. It's going to boost its physical stats and its speed here. Really intrigued to see if it could become the quickest Pokemon on the field. It's more of a special offensive and defensive for Pokemon as Iron Bundle with the echoed voice on the Slurking, a little bit of chip damage there as Goth Tower responding for its side. With the liquidation on the Kluwitzer, not very effective on the water type Pokemon though, as Kluwitzer responds with a stockpile. It's gonna boost its defenses here. Now, Kluwitzer has that huge 100, 120 special attack that we should all keep in mind. It can do huge special damage as Slurking with the Fire Blast. Will not be very effective yet again on the Kluwitzer. Able to tank yet another hit. Iron Bundle with the Aqua Jet on the Gothitelle. I actually would have expected that to do more damage. Gothitelle responds with the Razor Shell. I do not know why they keep doing these not very effective moves on the Kluwitzer. As Kluwitzer with that super effective bite on the Sloking. Showing them what needs to be done. Sloking flinches as well. Allowing Iron Bundle to go for the block. Making it so Sloking cannot escape. But... Gothitelle has that Shadow Tag ability, having its hidden ability, as we get the Petal Dance from Gothitelle and Clawitzer holds on from that special, effect, uh, super effective move, sorry. Gothitelle though, doing what had to be done, almost got the elimination, Sloking having its energy drained by Clawitzer. Sloking though, with the Yawn, focusing in on Clawitzer, it will be falling asleep shortly if it's not eliminated with the amount of health that it has left. Iron Bundle with the Cotton Guard here, is going to boost its defense a great deal and it has that 114 base defense as that pedal dance continues and finishes off Clawitzer that super effective move taking Clawitzer out leveling the playing field here as a thunder punch is super effective onto iron bundle doesn't do a great deal of damage though but it has left it paralyzed and it has that 136 base speed as Don Dozo making its debut in the Poke Pop League is immediately hit with a super effective pedal dance. It's able to hold on and Gothitelle is going to be left confused due to the fatigue but Don Dozo taking huge damage already as we get a Giga Impact from Iron Bundle eliminating Slowking from this matchup. Slowbro would surely be upset when it comes back out onto the field. Don Dozo intelligently setting up an aqua ring here, trying to restore some health. It will continue to do so as well. So if it can get itself back to full strength, that'd be very impressive as Slowbro comes back out onto the field. Gothitelle wanting to shake this confusion. It is now quicker than Iron Bundle, who again is paralyzed. And we get a Thunder Shock onto Don Dozo. Another super effective move, but Don Dozo is able to hold on as Iron Bundle having to recharge. 
Dondozo though going with the Razor Leaf. It is super effective on a Slowbro here, also connecting on Gotham Tail as an Astonish from Slowbro on the Iron Bundle. Does very minimal damage there. And there is that Aqua Ring restoring a little bit of health for Don Dozo. But Gotham Tail, if he can shake off this confusion, could get the elimination. It keeps going for these super effective moves now. And Gotham Tail with the Milk Drink instead, it is going to restore some health. And it should get itself back to full strength with that as well. Very impressive. As Iron Bundle goes for the Thunder. But Slowbro avoids that. And Don Dozo going with the speed swap is going to heavily slow down. Gothitelle here is actually going to speed up Don Dozo. Should make it the quickest on the field. As we get a growth from Slowbro boosting that attack. Boosting that special attack. It has that 100 base special attack as well. And there's that Veil of Water continuing to restore health of Don Dozo. Who is setting up for a rollout. On the Slowbro, this move will get stronger with every consecutive hit it does as we get a Fire Lash onto Gothitel from Iron Bundle and it is going to lower Gothitel's defense. But Gothitel has snapped out of its confusion and it is going to go for the Hydro Steam onto Dondozo. And Dondozo holds on. That Aqua Ring has saved it, but Slowbro with the explosion. And Iron Bundle will be the only Pokemon to hold on. Slowbro is eliminated. Gothitelle is eliminated. Don Dozo is eliminated. Iron Bundle is still in this matchup. It's going to be joined by Floatzel as Del Fox and Ferrigarath come out as the last two Pokemon for the Moss Deep Mystics. And the Dark Pulse immediately on the Ferrigarath. Super effective from Floatzel. Del Fox with the Worry Seed is going to get rid of that Swift Swim ability that Floatzel has, and it's going to gain the Insomnia. It will not be falling asleep, so it won't be going for a rest anytime soon. As for Rigraph now, going with the Infestation onto Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle is going to be afflicted with that as well, so it's going to do some continuous damage here as Iron Bundle going for the Supersonic. But Ferrograph is able to avoid that attack, and there is the Infestation continuing to go for Iron Bundle, who's able to hold on, but I'm sure it won't for very much longer. As a Venoshock onto Ferrograph from Floatzel, Del Fox, though, with the Focus Energy getting pumped, it must be building some confidence here, because it is at a huge disadvantage. And we get the Revelation Dance from Furograph, which is going to take Iron Bundle out of this match, who had been in it since the start. And out in its place comes Basket Legion as a Dragon Claw onto Del Fox from Floatzel. A great hit there. Del Fox responds with a quick attack. Gets a bit of good damage in there as a Play Rough onto Del Fox from Basket Legion. Not very effective. Good damage though. And we get Furograph with the high horsepower. Gets a great hit onto Floatzel, who responds with the Aerial Ace. Onto the Colosian starter. Del Fox is still holding on though and goes with the Encore, but this is gonna fail. This could open the door for Basket Legion. This Basket Legion going with the Entrainment instead of going for the Elimination. It's gonna get that Magician. Oh, sorry, it changes Del Fox's Magician ability into the Adaptability. Furigraph though going with the Bug Bite onto Floatzel. Floatzel is able to hold on and Furigraph has taken the Leper Berry of Floatzel. You should not steal somebody else's food. What are you doing for a graph? That is terribly rude. But we get the energy ball from Floatzel, which is going to boost the attack of for a graph, having that sap zipper ability, allowing Del Fox to go for the Zen headbutt, and Floatzel is eliminated. It's now a two versus two battle. The Most Deep Mystics have worked their way back into this. We get a charge beam, though, from Basque Legion, and Del Fox is eliminated. That also boosts Basque Legion's special attack. Basket Legion is more of a physical attack, but still we get the Ice Spinner from Furgraph onto Basket Legion. Not very effective, Basket Legion taking its first damage of the matchup, and it's going to be joined by Inteleon, who immediately goes for the Recycle. This is going to fail, however. And Basket Legion now setting up for a bounce. It's going to spring up high into the sky. It won't be able to take any damage whilst it's up there. That round from Furgraph will be avoided by Basket Legion, and Inteleon with the Meteor Mash, is going to eliminate Furograph and give the Pastoria Cascade a huge victory over the Moss Deep Mystics. That is exactly what they needed. This will get them out of 18th place where they have been sitting, and it is going to move them up into 11th, and next round they will be taking on the Pony Timbers. 
Whereas the Mustang P6 do drop down to 17th, and next round they have to contend with the Katondo Dust Mites, who are having a great season so far. But until then, Nidorinas and Nidorinos, thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below who you think was the best on field. And if you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, share, subscribe, but more importantly, always remember, you are awesome, and I'll see you when you see me. Hmm.